uh, if you fly, it's possible, that's for sure. Uh, but um, uh, the thing to look at is that we are talking about the 250 miles, maybe 230 miles. Uh, so to do it in half an hour, you will have to travel uh, quite fast, uh, approaching uh, 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 500 miles an hour. That's, that's uh, uh, something that is yet to be uh, achieved. Uh, the, the fastest uh, maglev trains are right now uh, uh, doing about 350 uh, miles an hour. And that assumes no stops, that assumes lots and lots of things. So 29 minutes is a great thing, but it will take a long time to achieve that. Um, uh, just because the technology is yet to the point that I think it can be deployed. In, in theory, uh, people are talking about achieving speeds on the uh, maglev of 3,500 uh, uh, miles an hour. Uh, that's great, but that's not in uh, you know not something that you will see anytime soon. Um, Jim, the other part that is uh, very uh, um, uh, cumbersome and, and complicated is the needed approvals uh, to uh, to go uh, these 230 to 250 miles to connect the two right. cities and that's going to be a very cumbersome. Yeah, that may be thing. more challenging than, than the technology itself <laughs> because that's anybody correct. says right anybody says no between here and dc and there <laughs> uh they have a problem for any reason first of all it's not going to be 30 minutes because there's also going to have to be stops in delaware and new jersey it's going to be just like the acela <laughs> everyone's going to want to have a stop in there and heaven forbid if there's an endangered species gopher somewhere between here and there that can hold it up too you also have to, to, to compound that by the fact that you are in across five different states. You're going Maryland, right. Delaware, right. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York, plus probably hundreds of municipalities and, 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 uh, uh, that will be a, a further impediment in actually uh, uh, trying to achieve right. uh, there's a there's a lot of uh, so, I mean, there's a so, lot so, of are detail the limits are we seeing the limits of th this idea that you can take a stack of, of, of paper representing regulations and just toss it off the table when, when we enter the idea I mean we love talking about what Elon Musk might be able to do but that he can get verbal approval and that means something to do a project like this um, it it doesn't it doesn't really mean anything because there's right. nobody to give approval. There are lots of people who theoretically would have to give approval. I, listen, I'm, I have a feeling that just from the regulatory point of view, it would be easier for him to build his city on Mars that he also wants to build uh, than it would be to build this 225 mile underground, 700 mile an hour vacuum tube. Uh, so I do like the idea in theory. <laughs> uh, the idea in theory is great, but, but uh, we have to remember also that the cost to do that in today's dollars and cents is prohibitive. Uh, uh, the only maglev that is operational today, uh, you'll find it in Shanghai that connects the center of the city with the airport. Um, it was built there. Uh, it is 20 miles long. Um, and it was built at a cost of about a billion dollars. And that's in China. Uh, our cost does not even approach, uh, I mean, the Chinese cost does not approach even close to what it costs here right. to build. Right. And you, we have... talking a $300 billion project, probably minimum? Uh, probably, probably, yeah. three to $400 billion, if we start today. And if, we, and if we're talking about those types of dollar amounts, uh, Jimmy, three hundred four hundred billion dollars wouldn't you obviously say well what else could we do that might be able to get us somewhere near this rather than you know digging two tunnels across five states I mean could you just really improve the times on Amtrak could you increase airline capacity I mean there's, it seems like uh, the list would be pretty long right listen if this, if this is all going to be privately financed um, and that's one thing but this is going to there's going to be taxpayer money listen uh, we just have a president who won an election on helping sort of the left behind parts of the United States and are we going to spend three to four hundred billion dollars on a project that will benefit people who have probably been doing pretty well uh, over the past decade uh, th that seems to me to be problematic Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.